Growing up in a small town, you know, it's often one of limited opportunity. Um, there's a great sense of family and community there, but for myself and others, I wasn't sure that I was bound for big success. My parents who knew of Senator Mitchell and who he was as a man and what he stood for, upon their encouragement, you know, I applied for the scholarship and, and was selected in 2008. You know, as I got further along in my education and, you know, continued to expand my horizons, recognize that there was a lot of work that could be done by people from these small towns. One thing that I always struggled with in high school was that I never felt like I fit in, um, just given that my family was so poor. My experience with the Mitchell Institute has, in some ways, it made me feel less alone. Hearing the stories of the other scholars, many of whom, in some ways, have had much tougher experiences than I had, I think is very much responsible for setting me on the right path. So there were three things that they were looking for. They were looking at financial need, academic promise, and then community service. So I thought, I've got all those things going for me. And so I applied and it was, yeah, like the best thing I could have done because I have still been reaping the benefits of it. At its core, right, our, our mission is for, you know, young people in the state of Maine to pursue, you know, a college education. I think beyond that, it really is a family of not only scholars and alumni, but of community members and others who are interested and invested in the future success of our state. With the scholarship, it's allowing people all across the state to, to pursue their education. And now we see there's Mitchell scholars in all avenues of, of work in this state, whether it's advocacy and healthcare, um, in government, um, giving back to this community.